is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine. Yo, what's good everyone? It's Leek, and I'm in the mood to create a tier list. Now, off the rip, this is the most opinionated and biased thing. Like, tier lists are not like, you can't take them seriously, bro. Like, it's, it's not controversial. Everything about it is opinionated. See, now most of these, most of these licenses on this list some of them like a handful of them are ones that i just picked out but most of the other ones are like really hyped on um, licenses that people actually from the dvd community actually want in the game you know what i'm trying to say now by this first glance you could tell the ones that i just picked out just to pick out because people are not really talking about them but i want to even though i really want people to like to talk about them because these licenses might like, will be pretty pretty cool you know what i'm trying to say like off the rip you probably already know like um where like what category they're gonna go under but um but yeah most of these licenses i like i i i like i know but i don't actually know no if that makes sense like i don't really under like i understand the license and like or like the movie or game i do but i don't really know too much about it but i was I, just because of the vibe of the license or the movie or game like i would want that type of license in dbd you understand so we're gonna just start off by random like we're just gonna pick and choose how we um i'm just gonna pick and choose how i just there's no order at all like i'm not gonna go from like left to right or right to left or bottom to top or top to bottom it's no order at all i'm just gonna pick and choose as i go just by random but i want to get the ones that i handpicked out of the way if i could get the more hyped and more recognizable ones like i'll make sure those are last so to start off this hmm, let me see to start off this let's go with like a, a, a weird one let's go with insidious right now look i know you're probably thinking like what like what are you like what like how can they see a chapter work in the game bro like honestly off the rip the killer a preferred killer from the um from the movies that I think would be pretty fitting for DVD is that red demon monster thing because that thing was pretty creepy in the movie so I would I wouldn't mind it in DVD I wouldn't know what it would do because I guess it would have something to do with like darkness like maybe it could create like darkness around its tear radius and sneak up on survivors somehow or something like that with the cracking and stuff like that like you would just like it could create like darkness around the tear radius and you could have like add-ons and stuff that increase the tear radius for you could or even you could put on distressing to um to have your tear radius increase a little bit if you got um spread more darkness and you could like sneak up on survivors somehow or something like that but the survivors could be um the lambert family and the map could be the lambert um residence so it'll be the mother the father and um they're at home so i guess expanded because of the fact that I remember the time when i don't i'm not like i said i'm not really good with names i don't really remember certain names from from the um from the movies but the kid from the first one the one that how it all started with like him um remember the time when he had um he was in his he was in his little sleep thingy i, I, keep, I keep forgetting the name of that um sleep projection uh astro astro project something like that like you know what i'm trying to say when he was in his little sleep nightmare thingy some freddy at nightmare obviously type crap right and he saw the demon at his um lair so it would be kind of like um it would be kind of like the lair the demons that ra that red demon's lair in the house at the same time like probably if you was to go into the basement then you go into his lair or something like that i don't know something weird like that but yeah that's um that's what i think about the insidious um like I, that's how i think the insidious chapter could work in dvd i'm not sure how popular it, it is in dvd like how many people will want this in dvd but i'm gonna put this under i think it'll be pretty cool like honestly like i, I feel like a insidious chapter would be pretty cool in dvd um insidious is definitely a recognizable um franchise so i wouldn't mind seeing it in dvd at all honestly the next one that I've picked from my little um 
let's go with a game one the next one that i picked out was manhunt now if you're not familiar with manhunt manhunt is a survival horror game it's just a stealth survival horror game um where you play as a, a fugitive named james james Earl cash who um done something in his past right and then he was basically um gonna get the team not detained um he was gonna be he he was put on death row so basically um he well he was killed quote unquote he was killed but some sick snuff film director basically paid the people who were um supposed to kill him they let him live and mind you this director he's like very rich so they made him live for this snuff film director named Starkweather could put this could put James Earl Cash a fugitive through a series of just he he wants to he put cash through a series of like gangs for his little snuff film so basically he wants cash to kill all these all these gangs and different type of gangs that you run up against for um for stark weather snuff films now i was as you're playing the game like as you're actually killing them you get like the more gruesome the kill is you get like um you get a better rating for it so because every mission you play you get at when you finish a mission you have a rating for it so i don't want to um talk too much about the game because if you now hearing about this it may sound interesting interesting to you it was made by rockstar games the north rockstar games north um yeah this game that's all i really have to say this game was a really good game i really enjoyed it when i was little and i still enjoy it today because of the fact that it's just like it's just nostalgic to me like honestly the first one i think was the best one even though the second one like the executions were off the chain because of the fact that you played that some mental guy named danny but danny lamb but um yeah that, i really, I really like this game do i think it, it could fit in dvd honestly not really but just to have it because of um because of the fact that i actually won in the game so that's what i'm saying like this this list is really um opinionated but i think that having this um having this chapter in the game would be pretty cool like i said i don't want to ruin too much so the killer would be how can i say this without ruining it so the killer would be uh us uh, a killer named pigsy right so pigsy i don't want to say too much it what um in the game was Stark Weathers was Stark Weathers best performer in the snuff room in his little snuff room ring. So he kept um Pigsy locked up in his mansion for he doesn't have to go nowhere. So he could keep like doing like he whatever Stark Weather wants Pigsy to do, he would do it because of the fact that Pigsy has no choice. Like he's locked up down there. Like he's locked up in the attic, right? So the killer would be Pigsy with his chainsaw because he's a maniac in the game. It's actually kind of scary, but the killer would be him. And of course, the survivor would be James O'Cash. And the map will be the Stark Weather, um, Stark Weather Mansion because in the game you visit that area. And then I don't want to say too much, but yeah, in the game you play in that area. That's kind of like the main area in the game, I should say. But yeah, I feel like this game will be pretty cool in dbd i feel like one of cash's perks will be something where he could kind of sneak up on the killer it would be kind of a risky so you don't really sneak up but you look kind of like if you're behind the killer you could kind of like do something you could kind of like stun the killer or something like that i don't know it'll be kind of too powerful almost like you could probably like do it one time because i made a video on this already about manhunt being a dbd i made um yeah i made a video on this already but basically cash could like run up on a um run up on the uh on the killer and then you could like press a button like e or something like that and then cash could like stun the killer by pulling out like a glass shard and then stabbing the killer kind of like the Sisa strike but it's more active i don't know how i don't know how like balanced that would be like that will have like a real balancing issue with that like it will have some type of oh have some type of twist to it you can't just i wouldn't want you to just like run up on a killer and then just stun them for no reason and there is no counter to it you know what i'm trying to say but other than that manhunt and dvd how i feel about it 
I think it will be. I think it will be pretty cool. I think it will be pretty cool. I I, I feel like Manhunt would be pretty cool with DPD. I feel like it will be a creative little chapter that they could pro um possibly pull off because the fact that it's like Rockstar Games. So even this, just the fact that for like behavior to team up with Rockstar Games to do a chapter on this game will be like insane, bro. <laughs> like, cause Rockstar Games is like very well known. So to have them team up with behavior or have behavior team up with Rockstar to um create this chapter will be like crazy. It will be iconic. Now another one I picked out was the House of the Dead. Now. If you're not familiar with House of the Dead, basically it's just like an arcade game. You know what I'm trying to say? I would want them to add some type of very, 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 very classic, very, very, very classic arcade type of horror game to the game. I don't know. Maybe it will be, maybe it wouldn't be a survivor. It would kind of have that, like, um, the Hellraiser situation. Where it would just be like a, um, why did I say Hellraiser situation? Like, if that's new. But it will be like a paragraph. Probably they could add one of the, um, main boss um boss battle killers from a boss battle monsters from the house of the dead like the dude with his with the dude with no head but he has like an axe and the new um companion that flies around and you gotta shoot it in house of the dead too or even the thing the little crawly thing from house of the dead 3 where it was crawling and trying to um kill you they can add that too but in all reality even though it's like a classic classic very very classic um arcade shooter um though it will be i mean it it's because i don't want too much stuff to be on um will be cool so i don't know like of, like having that just just having the name house of the dead in a game like dvd it, i have no choice it'll be cool like like I said, it'll be it'll be cool. Like the House of the Dead will be insane in DVD. I feel like that will be really creative for them to actually add a license like the House of the Dead in DVD. Cause it's like, who, who would they bring out of all those creative looking killers or zombies, I should say, to the game? Who would they even bring? You know what I'm trying to say? But I feel like that would be pretty cool in DVD. Next up, from what I've chosen from hand. Um, Blair Witch, right? Blair Witch, if you're not familiar with Blair Witch. Mind you, I don't even know too much about Blair Witch itself. Mind you, this is the Blair Witch game. I never even played the Blair Witch game. But from my knowledge of the movie, you don't even, you don't even see her really in the movie. You know what I'm trying to say? So off the rip, that would be kind of hard to um, put in the game. But... I would want them to add the game version because the fact that it's more, how can I say, it's more, I feel like that would be a bit more um, easier and simpler for Behavior themselves if they actually wanted to add Blair Witch to the game. But Blair Witch, just alone, I wouldn't even know what the, who, what would she do? Like, what would, she would have, she would definitely be very fast. Like, she would be like blight fast because in the game from what I, from what I've seen cuz I didn't I didn't play it I saw my brother play it but from what I seen like she's really really fast so she will be really fast like she would probably she would be like a mobile killer with like a bit of a um how can I say it'll be a bit of like a mind trickery thing because I noticed in the game that when you look at certain things and then you look back at them it's like they will be different like some some things will be like misplaced or anything like that so I'm guessing she will have the ability to not only be very fast, but she will be, um, but she will have that ability to like, I don't know, like kill, like she will like mess up the aura reading or something like that. I don't know. Uh, her, her ability will be like very interesting, like, uh, like how they incorporate that. Like, I don't know how they will incorporate that, her ability into the game really, because she makes you see, cause she makes you like, she kind of messes you she kind of messes up your mind a little bit because of the fact that she misplaces stuff so i don't know how they can incorporate that into the game i feel like it'll be like pretty buggy but uh like even though i picked this from hand it'll be kind of meh because like i said I, I wouldn't know what she really do but just like then like i said just the name or even having blur witch and dbd just the name itself like honestly like 
I'm, I'm like, why not? You know what I'm trying to say? Even though it would be kind of mad, because I don't know what she would do. But, why not? Now, I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm not going to lie. As you can see, I just added one, because I just thought about it. Like, hold up one second. This would be so cool in DVD. Off the rip. The Quiet Place, right? Yeah. When I tell you that this creature would probably be the most skill-based mobile killer in the game this this creature will be so yo you will have to be so precise because the fact that you can't see i'm guessing like you won't even like like from the creature from the creature i'm just gonna call it the listener from the listener's point of view you would you would see like how can i say it you would see stuff but then you wouldn't see stuff at the same time so it's like you wouldn't see survivors, so we'll be you'll have that spirit feeling. So you definitely wouldn't see survivors, right? But you will see like that out. You probably see like that out at the outline of like generators and walls and stuff like that. It'll probably be like that, but you won't see the outline of most stuff. But you can hear everything, obviously. So say if like a gen, how how can I say? It? Say if you're walking at base movement speed, which is 4.6 ms. Say if a gen pops, you will get like an ultimate speed increase. So like any loud action will make the creature go even faster you know what i'm trying to say so this creature will be really good it will have like that, that this creature will have that 1v1 s tier this unstoppable type of vibe just because of the fact that when you're in the chase obviously you make noise because of the fact that you gotta vote stuff fast so that creature will get an ultimate like speed advantage the creature will have like some sort of advantage you now I wouldn't want to make it too like unstoppable. I'll at least want to make it some like counterable. So I'm guessing the creature, like, um, even though the creature would be like really fast, the listener would be really fast. It will kind of have some type of how can I say it? Like I don't know, um, some like Demogorgon type vibe where you gotta like where you gotta like you could jump on them. Like I wouldn't want to say you just like run in and hit them. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it wouldn't be that that crazy. But you could probably like in like if they vote stuff faster like since they like quick vote when they quick vote you could like vote um the listener could vote um windows faster like break pallets faster because like the um the listener is much more aggressive when it actually hears his target so once it hit, once he hears the target it gets more and more aggressive so i don't know it'll probably be like a meter so like the more you make noise like the, the the more agile the and like faster like the creature gets so i wouldn't i don't know like that that would definitely be like the ability itself if you make any type of loud noise the creature will be faster because that's what they do in the movie as soon as you make one noise one loud noise it's a wrap they start they 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 book it they be out trying to get you that's what happens in the movie so just to have that in DBD to the fact that you can't even really make noise, especially for the trolls. I feel like this this killer will probably shut the trolls down. Like I feel like this killer will probably like, like even if you make like a flash like click like click, the creature will hear that. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I'm like they will probably they will have to incorporate that into the game if they even wanted to do a chapter like um a quiet place. Now obviously the um. The survivor will be the um the girl like I said I'm not good with names like I'm I don't really remember names and movies like that but the um the survivor will be the girl from the movie um the lady the woman who was um pregnant and um delivered the baby in the bathtub so yeah that would, that would just be the survivor but it, I don't think there would really be a map to it because there's there's not really like a main place where they was at even though they was at their home. But it's not really nothing too special about it. So I'm guessing they will just be a survivor. Um, she will be the survivor. The listener will be the killer. There will be no map. But I feel like off the rip, this license will just this chapter will be really cool because of the fact that the I already know the ability will be crazy. So just having that the listener in DVD as a killer, listen man, that not only will it be skill based like I said. That joint would just be insane to just go up against because you can't even really make any noise, which is crazy. Now, you're at, I know you're looking. There's two more that I picked out, that got handpicked out. And one of them were Home Sweet Home. Now, Home Sweet Home, we already know like the, the state of Home Sweet Home Survive. 
so I feel like just adding the like the um, box cutter girl killer Japanese um, girl killer to the game will be pretty like cool I guess like I don't know like just having home to home and DVD like why not and I know you guys probably thinking oh they already have their own type of horror game and like their own type of like asymmetrical horror game Resident Evil kind of had the same thing and Resident Evil was put in DVD I know Resident Evil was a like, very classic and much more of a better license but it's not really an excuse I mean you know what I'm trying to say like they could still even if they really wanted to they can add the box cutter girl uh, um it just depends on the people who made home see home if they want to pit um their character in um dvd so i feel like this will be pretty i don't know what she would do like i guess they would tra literally transport her power from the game into dvd so i'm guessing she would just spawn on alan so whatever's and she would have the basically her power would be like pinhead when you're open when you're um when you're when you're solving the the limit configuration the, the limit configuration basically her power would be like that when you just teleport to them and that would be kind of it i'm guessing she would they'll probably give her like a second ability though, only because i feel like that won't be too strong like that would definitely be she could just go into chase just like that that would definitely be her 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 main thing like she could just go into chase just like that not waste no time at all when she wants to and when that bar is filled up she could just go into chase that would be her main thing that would, i feel like that would be why people mainly play her she could just go into chase immediately like when she wants to you know what i'm trying to say she could see where it so is you can't even hide from her go into chase you know what i'm trying to say that would be her thing but yeah that's a little quick little um thing for home sweet home um i really i, I don't know who the survivor will be because i haven't played the um the main game but I, yeah, I really don't know who the survivor will be. I'm guessing they would just probably, if they really wanted to, they would pick someone from Home Sweet Home Survive. They would just pick one of the characters or a few, and then they would just put her in that. And I'm guessing the map will be the same exact map from Home Sweet Home Survive. That the the beta map. I'm guessing it will just be that map, I guess, because that's the main spot of where she was. But yeah, Home Sweet Home, I think will be pretty cool. I, I feel like her power will be pretty alright. It will just be her power from Home Sweet Home and DVD. And having her and DVD will be creative, I guess. Now, another one that I don't know nothing about, mind you, I know nothing about, yet I think this chapter will be pretty creative. Like, I don't know the killer. I barely know the survivor, but I know how the survivor looks like. I don't know barely nothing about this game. And this that game is Fatal Frame. Now, I, this, like I said, this was a game I always heard about, but never touched. I don't know why. But, yeah, this game... I just heard about and never touch. I know like the concept of like you gotta capture spirits with your camera or something like that. Like that's how you find them or anything like that. Like I said, I know nothing about this game, but just the vibe of it, I think will fit pretty well in DVD. Now I I, I feel like I gotta I might need to put this under math because I don't know exactly what's going on. Like I don't know I'm completely clueless and oblivious to this to this like this this game i feel like the vibe just just the vibe of the game alone will just be pretty like it'll just be pretty okay for dbd like i feel like like i said like i feel like popular names like popular game names like fatal frame and stuff will be pretty um just cool having in dbd even if i don't even know the the game itself you know what i'm trying to say even if I don't know it, I could just like off the rip in DVD. You know what I'm trying to say? I know they want like classic games and stuff from the past to be put in DVD. So I'm pretty sure maybe like one day, probably two years from now, this will probably appear in DVD. We wouldn't even know. And then people, more people, if they're not familiar with the game, will get into it. But I feel like this game will be pretty okay having in DVD. Now the last one I, I think people don't really um talk about that I just handpicked was The Grudge. Now don't get me wrong, I barely even know The Grudge too, but I definitely know the vibe of it and how creepy it is. So just having it and having this creepy crawly lady, I forgot her name, in, um, in DVD will be kind of weird. Even though I talked about a crawling type killer in the game. 
So just having her as maybe that crawling type killer would be even like that would be weird. You know what I'm trying to say? Like that would be definitely scary. And you just hear the uh, uh, uh like that would be <laughs> that would be terrifying. Like if you just hear that and like she has like and she has Tinker or something and you just hear that out of nowhere, that would be terrifying, bro. Like I'll probably be really scared if I went out play as Survivor. But uh, I'm like even though I know she would crawl, I. The grudge, the grudge would be cool in DVD. I, I, I feel like the grudge would be cool in DVD. Even though I barely know much about it, but I know there was people who, um, people who wanted this in the game or even talked about the grudge in the game. So I agree that the grudge would be pretty cool in DVD, even though I barely know much about it. But it definitely gives off a creepy vibe. So I'm down. Why not? Now these, now is getting to like the real nitty gritty. Now is getting to what people actually like talked about and wanted in the game. Now the first one I'm gonna pick from this is, let me see, what should I pick? I got one more that I picked from like him, and that was the collector. Now, yo, know, this movie, the this movie in the sequel was like was crazy. You know what I'm trying to say? Like this dude, the collector, this dude is something else. Like he, his IQ is like below the roof i know he probably passed all his class with classes with a plus or something like that but this dude is like something different like he will definitely be the type of killer he will be that type of killer that you got to use your mind 100 percent of the time in order to even like get a 4k you know what i'm trying to say like he he will probably come with like three different types of traps he would definitely come with probably like the box or something like that not the box like <laughs> like he pits people in the and he collects people basically um he, yeah, he collects people. He collects all different types of stuff. Torches. Like, he, he collects everything. Like, that's what he does. Like, he traps um, people. And then he booby traps everything. Basically, that will be, like, his power. That will be what he does. He will probably have, like, a stealth ability. He will probably be, like, a, um, a stealth trapper. Like, kind of like Pig, but, like, better. Like, he wouldn't have to down you and then put a trap on you. He could just probably put a trap anywhere. Like, tripwire or anything like that. Or just anything to like incapacitate survivors, make him get the upper hand. Like he would probably pit easily pit like a trip wire down like by a shack or something like that. For if they try to um run by, they will just get caught on the trip line and it will probably like stab them, some do something to them, incapacitate them somehow. Or even pit traps on pallets to a point where if they even touch a pallet or try to drop it down, it will hold them down for he could get the upper hand and try to hit them. Something like that. Basically, he will be the trapper 2.0. He will probably be like the best trapper in the game because his IQ when it comes to trapping is below, like it's through the roof, bro. Like this dude could trap anything. Like he could trap, just he could trap a pillow or something. Like he could trap the most thing. He could trap anything that you won't think could be trapped. Like, uh, like honestly, he will be able to trap a chest. He will probably be able to trap your item. He trap anything to just get the upper hand. And I think this off the rip i think that this type of killer would be cool in dbd and the survivor would be arkin because that's the killer i mean that's the survivor um he collected in the first movie and i just spoiled the and i just spoiled the movie basically yeah that that i'm sorry that's what happens at the end he he collects the um he collects the dude the um the main protagonist that's what happens and then in the sequel something else happens i'm not gonna spoil the sequel but yeah that's what happens in the um in the first one he collects the the main protagonist at the end sorry about that now it's more interesting because now it's more down to the stuff that's more talked about and more recognizable that people may want in dvd now i don't know which one to pick first because it's kind of hard but let me pick one that let me pick one that i think should go on just do it let me pick one that i feel like is as serious needs to happen in dvd because that always just be the most iconic thing ever and off the rip that's alien and predator alien and predator i feel like alien and predator with ripley will be like yo dude that will that will probably be one of the best chapters in dvd like honestly that with the like the bro um like having two killers alien and predator in the game for you to play as even though like probably two killers probably won't happen but just from the 
just for them to even put two killers in the game and at the same time and for it to be alien and predator will be insane like that would probably be the most insane thing that they ever done everybody will be hyped it will get a ton of money behavior just do it like like i don't know why like like what's the hold up even though there's probably like a license issue but when that license issue or anything is done however you feel like behavior y'all need to add both alien and predator at the same time that would be iconic in dvd alien predator with ripley and probably like the the spaceship map i guess that would be cool in dvd like that would be the most iconic thing it will get a ton of money just do it just make it happen like come on like <laughs> Who wouldn't, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to play as Alien Predator? Like, come on now, let's be real. The next one, let me see. The next one, let me go with a weird one. The next one that I, that, pe that um, most people talked about that they wanted in DVD was The Conjuring. Now, The Conjuring, like, off the rip, I don't, like, don't get me wrong. The movie, the, the first one scared me a little bit. Like, I feel like the, like, when they do, like, the when you hear, like, the real audio and stuff from the movies, that's the most scariest part because you actually hear real audio. But having Valak in the game, or Valak, I should say, let me not say, like, I'm, I'm in the dark right now. Over here, look behind me. But, um, having Valak in the game will be kind of, um, it'll be, definitely be weird or even creepy because you're literally a nun. She could just be called the nun. That would be perfect. Um, yeah, she could just be called the nun. It'll be, um, the star will be, um, um, Lorraine. So, Ed and, it will be Edler and Lorraine. Why not have them two in the game? You, you pit Steve and Nancy, so why not have Ed and Lorraine? Not just Lorraine, but you have Ed, Ed and Lorraine Warren, so that would be pretty cool with the nun as the killer. I don't really know what the map will be like, I guess. I, I don't really know. It will be like a church, I, I, I suppose. It will be like a cathedral. So, it will be um, Ed and Lorraine Warren with the nun as the killer and the cathedral as a map. I feel like this will be pretty cool. I mean, they don't have to like just do it right now. I feel like it. Uh, I feel like, uh, do it. Uh, it's like I feel like it would, it would be it could be cool, but then I feel like it could also wait. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it's not it doesn't have to be rushed, but it will definitely be cool. I don't know, but like it. It's hard, like all, out of all these licenses in the first place. It's hard to even add something on the just go away. I don't even feel like anything will go on that on that too on that part i'm just saying telling you right now like like i'm down with probably any license you know what i'm trying to say like i really don't know which one will be like the lowest like because i'm pretty okay a little bit with most of these licenses but the having the conjuring will be will definitely be unexpected it'll be it'll be cool like i have to admit like it, that joint would be pretty cool because i'll be really curious as to what she would do and how everything would just be set up that would be definitely an interesting chapter that they could possibly add in dvd now let me go let me possibly go with another s tier one that they should just add in dvd off the rip i already i'm pretty sure i already know which one i'm gonna pick candy man bro like dude just just get just get it over with bro like come on now come, just get it over with tony todd bro stop trolling stop trolling on twitter bro because you you play too much like this dude is over here um like like creating hints like tweeting hints on on twitter about him possibly being in the dvd like he didn't say it himself but he gave hints and stuff like and that we not we don't even have kenny man yet so I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen eventually. They just got Pinhead out of the way because of the fact that there's like some sort of license issue. Like they, the license holders, they don't, they don't, um, they're not gonna have the license in or something like that in November, something like that. I don't know too much about that, but I know that they had to get Pinhead out of the way somehow. But Candyman needs to happen in DVD. Honestly, I don't even think uh, there's really much to say about Candyman. Just put him in the game. I feel like his, like him himself, his character will be pretty um, good fitting in DVD. Just call him the Candyman. Like he will be the actual licensed urban legend to happen in DVD. So why not? Like just just add him, bro. Just just come on, stop playing. 
The next one, this is kind of a much like this is very talked about. Also, The Walking Dead. Let's go with The Walking Dead. Um, The Walking Dead off the rip. I feel like. I feel like it wouldn't even be like a full chapter for The Walking Dead. I feel like it would just be a survivor that will happen. It would be like a survivor pack. It would probably be, um, um, obviously Rick with Daryl and like Michonne, Maggie, Glenn. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I, I, I always forget the names. I, I know the faces, but I know the names. I mean, I know the faces, but I always forget the names. But yeah, Glenn, Maggie, um... If, if I saw the face, y'all would know who I mean. But yes, the main Walking Dead cast they will just have in DVD. I feel like it would just be survivors. You know what I'm trying to say? Like off the rip, I feel like it would be cool. But if they was to add a killer, it would probably be someone from The Whispers, like, or even like Alpha, something like that. Even though I don't know what they would do, like they would probably be, like have a zombie. It would probably be kind of like Nemesis. But instead, you um you can actually have more control over the zombies instead of zombies just being there and spawning, and then they just do what they want. You will actually have you actually assist the zombies when you play as um the Whisper Leader. I forgot his name too. But yeah, when you play as the Whisper Leader, you just control the zombies more. Like he will come with like a horde or something like that of zombies, and then yeah, he could just control them, make them he like do what they I don't like. I don't, I don't know how it would be like if they was to add a killer because I'm pretty sure they even they won't in the first place. Like I don't, I don't know how they how that would be like at all. But I know it would be cool just to add the survivors like Daryl and Rick just to the game just to play us. I would definitely buy them. It would be pretty cool. Why not? You could the like Barry. I'm pretty sure you could make that happen if they really wanted to. But like I said, it all depends on the license holders for The Walking Dead and Barry. So they gotta situate that somehow. The next one, let me see. Let me go with something that I feel like is a bit on the bottom side. Um, like this is definitely like an un like popular opinion because I know people would definitely really want this to happen in DVD like for the first time. But let me talk about Resident Evil Part Two with my with um Mr. X as the killer. Now off the rip, it's very how can I say it? It's very, it's very much just, I don't even know if it could be on meh or, I'm going to put this on could we, only because of the fact that we have Resident Evil already, you know what I'm saying? So, you, I feel like people, like, you got to be more fair for the people that really don't really mess with Resident Evil like that. You don't want to just force Resident Evil down like their throats because we just we already have Resident Evil we have Nemesis we have Leon we have Chris we have Jill we have Claire you know what I'm trying to say we have these like iconic survivors and we have this iconic killer in the game it's like to add more from Resident Evil I feel like it could wait honestly like give it like you could give it a break just throwing some cosmetics and it'll like they'll be fine you know what I'm trying to say like I know y'all probably thinking like like what is this man doing like what is he talking about like Mr. X would be cool yes I saw the concept like the concept by um I forgot his name like I said I'm not going with names but the concept y'all yeah, know the concept I'm talking about that iconic concept where the dude is actually playing his concept that one having Mr. X in DVD yes it would be cool but it, it could wait honestly you know what I'm trying to say like it could wait like I know he would be Cool to have as a character, but it could wait, honestly, in my opinion. Resident Evil Part 2 could wait. Let me talk about one that I feel would be really cool with DVD. Now, this one, off the rip, I think will be very, 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 very cool. And that is Slender Man. Honestly, just, where where do I even start with Slender Man, dude? His ability, like, <sighs> Slender Man, bro, as a killer. I, I can actually play as Slenderman, bro. <laughs> That's literally like a dream come true, bro. Like, you just play the game, like running away from him and trying to get away from him. To actually play as the dude, like, come on. I'm pretty sure that was the last one, like every other license has, that's happened with DVD. Like, you actually play as a killer now. But to play as Slenderman, a character like Slenderman, come on now. Come, just make it happen. Like, that was like, if y'all can. 
just make it happen. I know that there's this thing that Slender Man doesn't even touch um his victims at all. But make it like Pinhead, dude. Like, come on now. Like, make up, like, make up something. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, y'all, y'all gave, y'all gave my boy Pyramid Head a whole power that he never used in no Silent Hill nothing. So I'm pretty sure Slender Man could work in the game, bro. Like, there's, I doubt there's any type. Like, DVD barely has logic itself. You know what I'm trying to say? It's literally the Smash Bros. a horror. If y'all put Slender Man in the game. That joint would be insane. It would definitely make a lot of money. Come on now. Just just make it happen, bro. Just stop playing, bro. If y'all can, make it happen. If y'all can, make it happen, please. Like, Slender Man will be crazy in DVD. His abilities will be through the roof. Like, he could... I don't know what his abilities would be like. It will be something This. It will definitely be something that, like, people will know. But I already know it would be cool to, like, use or anything like that. His, like, his tentacles or anything like that. Let me go with another one that I feel would be very interesting for DVD. Now, I don't really know too much about this game, but Dead Space. Now, Dead Space, I remember a situation when people believed that Dead Space was coming to DVD because of the fact that it was, um, the, um, people realized that it was gonna, gonna get a remaster. So, then people saw that they was like, oh, this game might be coming to DVD because that might be a way to, like, increase like for like marketing like that would be a way to like hype up the game but turns out like um when people went to the like a site i don't remember the site name but they went to some site and it showed that um dead space will be coming to dvd in 2020 so it was like oh wow this chapter is actually coming pretty pretty soon but it turns out turns out that was fake and the next killer we got was pinhead don't don't get me wrong like if that's if that joint was turns out to be real somehow that means dead space is literally the next chapter because that joint said 2020 and the next and we should we should be getting like another chapter in around like december or something like that you know what i'm trying to say but yeah, having Death Space in the game will definitely be interesting. This would definitely be a survivor I definitely mean because of the fact that just by appearance, this, this survivor is very, like, how can I say this? survivor is very concealed. Like, I don't, you won't see, like, the face or anything like that. Even though you probably see the face in the game. I didn't, I, don't get me wrong, I have the game. I have the game, but I just didn't really play like that. But having this survivor in the game with his full outfit, I would just insta mean. At first, especially as a full outfit that you didn't even have to pay for, the survivor just comes like that. Like, come on now, like that's like, dude, that's like adding hunk from Resident Evil to to Dead by Day. Like, I would instant mean just because the fact that the survivor is actually fully concealed. You don't even see anything. You know what I'm saying? You don't see any skin. That would be cool because of the fact that it get it brings more diversity to the game, which I feel like this game needs. So, I feel like Dead Space would be pretty cool. I won't. I don't really know who this who the killer would be. But I definitely know who the star is just because just by appearance and that look. So I don't really know what the killer would be. I've, I'm, I guess the killer would be one of those creatures. I don't know what they do because I know I don't even play the game. But I'm definitely need that I need I need to get into a lot of these horror games that I just just ignored. You know what I'm saying? That I just isolated from my um from my mind. But Dead Space is something that is a is a, a franchise, a series that I really need to get. I said franchise. It's a series that I really need to get into. So I'm definitely gonna do that because I feel like this game will eventually be in DVD, especially that it appeared on the on the survey. So I know that, that Dead Space is definitely on the radar and I'm gonna play it eventually. Now let's go with a movie one. Let's go with a a, 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 a weird type one that people have suggested in DVD. Let's go with The Shining. Now this this bro <laughs> where do i start with a Ima bro imagine the shining in dvd like i off the rip like off the nah just i don't know I, off the rip like i don't even i don't even remember the movie like that but just having that map in in the game just having that map in the game come on now who, bro, who wouldn't want that in the game? That map will be, even though it might, like, balance-wise, it might be, like, annoying. It'll kind of have that sign of hill vibe where you just hold W. But, you know, I, I, I'm i very, like, I just like stuff because of design. As you can see with Pinhead, like, his, he's maybe weak, but I, I love his design. 
out of any type of design in the game especially a silent hill map like i said i feel like that's my favorite map in the game that's definitely my, my favorite map in the game even though most of the time it's like a toxic relationship sometimes i hate it sometimes i love it but this that map uh, it's always every time i hear every time I, people suggest a, a shining um chapter i always think about the map because of the fact that i already know that map will be crazy like it will be a literal maze like bro oh my goodness bro that map will be a scene like that's all i really think about is the map you know when you think about the um the killer um what's his face How, what's his name jack torrance the dude that plays um the dude that the, the character like i said i'm not really good with names but the character from the movie um i guess his power would just be you just he would go like on the rampage it would be kind of like legion but instead you break you actually break the pallets like he would have that scary type of factor vibe where he just goes into this frenzy and starts breaking pallets and then he would probably have the ability to actually for the first time in dbd break a pallet that is not even dropped it like he could possibly even do that so if if um a survivor is looping shack he would probably get mad and then just break that pallet and they they can't even drop the pallet anymore you know what i'm trying to say so he would probably have something like crazy like that because i already know he's very destructive in the movie and the survivor would be his um his girlfriend or wife i don't really i don't remember because i haven't seen the movie in a minute um, I saw it when I was little, but I don't really remember it like that. I mainly remember it because of the fact, because uh, of the map. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I'm like that map in the game will be crazy. That's the main reason why I remember um the shining because of the map. And here's Johnny, like the, that's a meme, you know what I'm trying to say? With my with my boy John Cena, like that's the reason why I remember the shining in um in the first place. So having that in DVD, to, to, like. Honestly, I feel like they, they should just make that happen. That chapter will really, like, that would be very interesting as a chapter, to be honest. Like, that would be definitely be a chapter that's unexpected in DVD. So, I feel like, why not? Just give it a shot, make it happen. Another one, let me see. This one. This one is a weird one. This one is pretty, very, is very weird. Because the fact that I don't know how it works. Like, I don't know how. I really don't know how it will work. And I'm pretty sure y'all know which one I'm going to choose. And that's Charlotte's Play. Off the rip. I. How, how would he work? He will probably. Yo. His. His mind game. He will probably have the best mind game in the game. Because of the fact that he's a, literally the smallest killer. Like, bro. You can't. <laughs> Every last like every tall killer has that disadvantage because of the fact that you can see them over long walls and stuff like that. Like, say if there's a whole bunch of planks, like in the so like in some of the um like planks or trucks, you could like see just because of the fact that they're very tall, like my boy Pyramid Head or Nemesis, you can see Pyramid Head's pointy head or Nemesis meat head sticking out because of the fact that like they're extremely tall. So, f to have a killer that's extremely small, mind gaming, that could just hit you like that, bro, his mind game will be crazy, but other than that, I have no idea what you do at all. This is actually one that I'm actually kind of mad about because I honestly don't know what he would do. Like, is he actually even, I know he's definitely possible for DB. We have Victor, that's no excuse. But it's just me not knowing what he would do. I don't know how Chucky will work at all. I don't know how he would pick up survivors. I'm guessing he would have the entity's help. I'm guessing just having Chucky in the game will be very entity. Like he will have, like I feel like the entity will kind of baby him in a minute. Like in the, in a minute. <laughs> I feel like the entity will kind of baby him in a way because of the fact that he's so small. So the entity just kind of feels bad. I was like, oh, okay, let me help you out right now because the fact that you you struggling i know there's people saying that he could drag them he could drag him like he could drag the survivors but it's like how would that work you know what i'm trying to say even though like there's different animations but how would when you really think about it how will um dragging work you know what i'm trying to say like they will have to really you like not only do um they have to fix not only is that like a whole different animation but when you think about it it's like the flashlight timing and everything like that it's not it wouldn't really be the same they will have to adapt to actually 
they will have to adapt to um, when they face Chucky. When so when when so I was playing against Chucky, they will have to adapt to actually aiming their flashlights down instead of up most of the time. Because of the fact that Chucky is so small and then he's actually dragging them, so that will be kind of um, weird. But besides that, I feel like they need to adapt to that in the first place. So I wish should adapt to um, more diversity in the game. So I feel like him dragging so I wouldn't even be much of an issue. But like I said, his power, I don't know what he would do in the game. But I'm guessing he'll have some type of the voodoo thing that he does. I'm here say him, but he do something like that. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm most worried when it comes to Chucky um, in DVD because I just don't know what he would do at all. Like, what would you do? Crawl in there? Like, he would have like a Legion, Legion type of vibe where he could like crawl under palace or something like that. Crawl over palace. I don't know what you do. How would he even vote? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, he would have the slowest. Dude would have the slowest vote animation in the game. That is not even funny, bro. He would have to literally jump onto a window and then pick himself up to then go over. But I feel like they could just make that make that his vote animation, but that's just just like very sped up for that he doesn't have to like lose survivors because he'll be taking too much time. Plus there's no such thing as a very slow vote animation. I'm pretty sure like all killers have the same vote animation in the first place. But yeah, Chucky is definitely a weird one for me. Another weird one is the ring. Now the ring, don't get me wrong, having her in the in the game will just it will be creepy. Like just seeing her crawl, that she kinda has like the grudge vibe too, where they just crawl. But my thing is just she comes <laughs> she comes out of TVs, you know what I'm trying to say? So like how is that actually gonna work? Like I don't give me one. Actually I actually did a, a little power speculation video on her around when Trickster was coming out and I was uh trying to figure out who the killer would be and she was one of them because of the little static icon that the devs posted on Twitter. Like I, I guess that's my thing. I guess in TVs will just be spawned over the map for some reason and she calls out of them. I don't know how that will work at all. I don't know if they would just change that into portals that she crawls out of because of the entity. But having TVs around the map for no reason wouldn't make sense at all to me. So that, like, her, don't get me wrong, her, the, just the appearance alone of actually having her chase you in DVD and everything, that would be just iconic. But it's the power that's always the problem when it comes to me because of course the killer's power is the reason why people um play as certain killers in the first place even though like most like like some of the time it could just be because of the killer is that killer it's that character that people always want in the game but with her specifically i i don't i don't know like what's her name samara like i i don't know where like she, I guess it's, I guess she would just crawl, uh, like by herself with no TV. She would just have, she would just crawl, and that's it. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, all right. This list is starting to nail it down. Okay, let me try to. I'm trying to see if I should do another S tier one. Off the rip, I'm pretty sure I already know. But let me do another. Let me do another little. Let me get until dawn out of the way. Okay, off the rip until dawn. I feel like if it's DVD very well, I feel like they should just, I feel like they should, um, get Until Dawn over with. I feel like that's a license that, sh that, sh that should have been in the game, like, already, that I feel. Like, a, a modern horror game that should have been in the game already. Um, I feel that way about another game, but I'm not gonna get into that yet. But, Until Dawn, yo. Everybody, when I tell you that most people thought that this license was gonna be the Twins, when they saw the little teaser, everybody, mainly like 95% of the people, 90% of the people, thought that we was actually getting until dawn. Not only because of the teaser, because it was set in like snow and stuff, and that's the main part. That's like how it's snowy in the game. But just the fact that the little and then um Victor scratched the we didn't know it was Victor, but. Victor scratched the camera because you only saw Victor's hand in the teaser. Um, Victor scratched the camera, and then people thought that that was the winner go. But turns out it was just Victor and Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? The twins. 
so even though like that that teasers are so deceiving bro like when it comes to this when it comes to these teasers bro i really don't understand like never is victor's arm never is a baby's arm that long bro like they they definitely wanted to throw us off like they i feel like they cheated us with that one like that was definitely that wasn't that wasn't an accurate teaser at all like come on now the devs are cheating like they just want to throw us off with something but can't lie we wasn't expecting to be it was definitely unexpected so but other than that what the wendigo would do like i know the wendigo's vision is like it's like red in the background but then the um what it mainly wants to see like the the stuff it mainly sees like how can i say it? like the tunnel vision of the wendigo is like when they see when they see something is like white so i'm guessing that'll be like that the when you play as the wendigo it will have that pov of the background like is what is red but when you like when you're in the chase with like a survivor it's like white or something like that or it's just white in general when you just play around when you just play as a wendigo so off the rip the wendigo will have very good how can i say very good fov because of the fact that because of the background is red you can see a survivor all the way across the map if it's not a cornfield map or anything like that because of the fact that they have a white aura immediately like because that's what has how the wendigo's um that's how the window goes see stuff you know what i'm saying like that's how they that's how they um that's how they uh see in the that's their sight in the in the game so they will definitely like people would definitely want to play as a window go for that because of the fact that they just have they will just have very good fov yeah i'm guessing the window go will, will crawl too also like <laughs> like the window go like it's a lot of i'm telling you a crawling killer in dvd needs to happen like either way either if it's do grudge ring the until dawn anything some type of crawling killer needs to happen in dvd original or license it needs to happen i feel like until dawn will be pretty cool having the win to go and samantha as a survivor and other other um survivors if they wanted to add um more but i feel like that would be pretty cool as the resort as the map even though we already have it um you know we already have a resort like mm. That would be, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they don't have to add a map, but until dawn would definitely be something a license that's pretty cool for DB because of the fact that it's so fitting. So might as well just add that to the game. Just get over with. Like, come on now. Now the next one for these. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's get my boy cheapest creepers out of the way. You already know how controversial he is, but a lot of people. When I say a lot of people. A lot of people want Jeepers Creepers in the game, bro. I feel like, honestly, when this new one comes out, that we finally gonna get them. I feel like they're gonna get the license to Jeepers Creepers from that. Like, that's gonna be, like, the license we get um, from Jeepers Creepers. We're not gonna get the one that Homeboy has. You know what I'm trying to say? Not even Homeboy. Just that man has. We're not gonna get his... We're not gonna get the actual original creeper we're gonna get the the little reboot happening i'm guessing we're gonna get that one but even just the character having that character in dbd like what what more can i say bro like honestly because he won't I don't, i'm pretty sure he won't fly because of the fact that don't get me wrong the devs lie but matthew cote um recently i'm pretty sure he talked about that uh killer that can't really fly but they lie though so it's like i'm not i don't really believe that until i have to see it first but having either way like here's a just having him, him as a character in the game i feel like they should just do it honestly like don't get me wrong we have death slinger that death slinger's outfit like his original outfit is literally that was jeepers creepers base bro he, that outfit is literally he literally has jeepers creepers outfit but he's just human you know what i'm trying to say like maybe that was their little thing of actually like a little nod to jeepers creepers because that that they that does feel that they will probably never get jeepers creepers so they probably wanted to dress up death slinger as jeepers creepers a little bit or give off that jeepers creepers feel but having jeepers creepers himself the creeper in the game with his axe or a little throwing star thingies in the game that i feel like that would be pretty cool i feel like it, it needed to happen a long time ago i already know they was gonna do it until they heard about um and they actually saw the situation yeah, i'm pretty sure they was gonna do it a long time ago because 
people because I, I, that's what I heard about but I feel like this is definitely a um, character that should be added to DB, no doubt. Now this next one, um, let me see what, what to pick, what to pick, random, 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 random. Um, I'm gonna close my eyes and just open. Um, and where I wanna stop, which one is the closest, I'm gonna pick. Um, boom. Okay, yes. Evil then. Yeah. Evil then, off the rip. Just, bro. <laughs> Bro, evil within me. It, it should I even? I shouldn't even barely say it. It speaks for itself, honestly. Like, just make it happen, dude. Like that would probably that would be the coolest thing in the in the thing in the game, bro. Like, if, what if you what if you just like walking around? Like, what if you just hiding, right? And you just see my man's. What if you hiding as Sebastian, right? And you just see my man's. My man's the keeper, right? You just see him walking around. Yala, just walking around and then you just see him get his box head touch his box head and commit suicide in front of you and then boom he disappears like 10 meters behind you or something like that like he who like he would definitely have to do that in game that needs to happen in game no doubt he needs to do that in game because that would be like the most that would be the craziest thing in that in your screen messes up and stuff when he's um spawning himself again yo it's 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 really not it's it's really not much to say about the evil then just just make it happen in the game i already know um most people really want the evil then with the keeper and sebastian as a survivor and killer in the game and the uh, um beacon mental hospital could be a map so that's a full chapter right there the evil then Make it happen, bro. Just, it will definitely be uh, interesting yet exciting yet unexpected. Well, not really unexpected because a lot of people wanted that. I'm pretty sure it was on the survey too. If if I'm, I could be wrong, but the you then in the game will definitely be crazy. That joint needs to happen like as soon as possible. If they can't, if they could do it, honestly. Mind you, they have the link, so they have the link because the dude that made Resident Evil also made the evil then, so. Come on now, like that's an automatic connection. Mind you, you could play, you could play as the keeper in the evil then, which I'm pretty sure most of you already know. And it's in first person, bro. If that's not foreshadow for DVD, I don't know what that, I don't know what it is, bro. That's literally foreshadow with DVD. You play as Sebastian in first, in um third person, in the evil in the first one, and then you play as the keeper in first person. If that's not foreshadow for DVD, bro, I really don't know what it is. Like, honestly, they, they, that's, they, DVD and Evil didn't have too much of a connection. They just, they're perfect for each other. I feel like the Keeper fits perfectly in the realm. I feel like Sebastian fits perfectly in the realm. That chapter needs to happen as soon as possible if they can. I, could, I feel like that chapter, I feel like that chapter alone could even be like six anniversary or something like that if they wanted to. But I feel like the Keeper is too much, like he's very similar to Pyramid Head. People say that that's like Pyramid Head's cousin. So I feel like him, having him as an anniversary killer will kind of be kind of weird because the fact that we also got Pyramid Head, well Silent Hill as an anniversary chapter for, anniversary, for the fourth anniversary. So having the Ibu then also as an anniversary with a, um, with a similar killer well box head um similar to um pyramid head that'll be kind of like weird but i don't know it could still happen the evil then needs to happen i would love that in dbd i know other people will as well just make that happen in dbd bro honestly all right let's get outlast out the way outlast with miles i finally got his name right uh, miles up sure something like that with miles up sure or the surgeon or the big brute guy piggy whatever his name is Piggy Tinkman as the um as the killer. I feel like he should be he I feel like he should be able to like throw survivors or something like that. Like remember last year when you play as that um that big prisoner dude, he could like pick up um the um teenagers or the um the students and like throw them and some and stuff like that. You could throw them off the um you could throw them off the ledges, the buildings, yo, that was the funniest thing, bro. Bro, honestly, last year needs to do that's that's the that's sad, that's the present, bro. I really miss playing last year. Like I can't even download. Don't get me wrong. I could download that game, and then I could I could um possibly get into the game. But it would take like an hour and thirty minutes to possibly even get into the game. I'm not even waiting that long. 
I don't know what happened to that game, man. That game was so much fun, and I had so much potential. Honestly, like, that game was so much fun. I miss playing as a shrinkler and just chaining people and then throwing them off the, um, and then <laughs> shoving them off the buildings and ledges and then playing as a prisoner and throwing them off buildings. I honestly feel like if that picky dude from Outlast was in the game, he would be, who kind of be like that. He would kind of just throw survivors. Like, he would possibly have the ability, like, he would have that, um, precise ability, that precision ability. Where, say, like, if you was sit down once or ever, you could pick them up instead of, like, yeah, you could pick them up when they're down and you could pick them on the hook. But I feel like he will have the ability to actually pick up survivors and throw one survivor into another survivor and that survivor could be injured or something like that. Like, he will have that ability. So, say if a survivor is already injured, if he picks one survivor up that he downed, he could throw... <laughs> He could throw that survivor into the other survivor and that's a, that's two downs but i don't know how to feel about that i feel like that might be a two that might be a bit broken like say if someone really got good aim with that and they on like they just down everybody if they close so he will definitely be the type of killer to when you like he like he will have he'll be the type of killer where infectious fright will be perfect on him where you just down one survivor and then you pick them up <laughs> you know where they at <laughs> And then throw and then throw that survivor into the other survivor and then they just get down or something. That would be funny. I'm not gonna lie, just seeing the survivor get tossed or Claudette or the the, uh, the white or Meg get tossed. I'm saying that because like those are the three on um, um, like annoying ones, sweat tears I go against all the times I always see Claudette's the whites. Aces too, uh, like aces and um and Megs, Megs especially, bro. I don't know what's going bro. Every every sweat plays Meg or means Meg, bro. I swear to God, bro. I swear it's it's so true. But yeah, having him in the game or even the surgeon, the surgeon would be cool. But I don't really know what he'd do. And however, my boy um Miles in the game, the Wall Rider. I don't know. The Wall Rider would be interesting too. But I don't really know how they would incorporate that. But yeah, how I feel about this this will be a, a, a cool one I f like don't get me wrong it's like s tier but i don't know it will definitely be cool but it's doubt like just having outlast as like a um a title like a chapter in dvd it's just something that should happen and it'll be cool because i already know that like, that whole chapter will be interesting i already know that that will be something that the whole DVD community, or at least more, most of the DVD community, will be like very, like they will be very um interested in how the chapter will play out, especially like in PTB. Like they will be like, "What's Outlast in DVD? Like that's crazy." But yeah, I thought that would be cool. All right, let's get into something else. Let's go with, let's go with, um, let me see. Out of these three, out of these goats. Out of these three, let me see. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. It off the rip, dude. A shape shifting killer. Come on now. This is. It, do I even need to talk about it? Like, even though yes, doppelgangers like um having killers that can't um disguise as a survivors that can't happen because of many, 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 many reasons. Even though that that can't happen, I feel like he could still work with. He could have some sort of fear thingy, or and then he could shape shift at the same time. That would be. I feel like th that itself would be game changing. Having a uh, killer that could just maybe shape shift into a huge spider or something else, or who kind of have like a prop hunt type of vibe to say like say like if you're doing the gen and you just see arms pop off from out of it, pop out from out of the gen like you kind of have that freddy vibe you could come out of generator come out of generators and there was this one there was this one concept that i saw on um i forgot whose video it was i think it was the king's of uh, when he um so when he when the king had um he listed um a whole bunch of concepts a whole bunch of hype concepts for characters and i saw this one brilliant concept bro i saw this one brilliant concept i don't know who it was by i think it was someone on reddit that you could actually go into a locker and then transport into a different bro you could go into a locker as pennywise and transfer it into a different locker 
if bro if that's not brilliant i don't know what it is like that that not only will that be very strong that would just be just crazy just to go up against like that would, like that would be the most craziest thing i think it was called a dark passage or something like that it was someone's concept whoever created that concept props to you because that that honestly was like that's crazy how you could just go into a locker and then transport to another one like that's something that I wanted Ghost Chase to do, but because of the fact that that's a bit too like magical and Ghost Chase is not like that, that's not Ghost Chase's vibe. I feel like Ghost Chase should at least had the ability just for um just for, for just for personality factor to hide in lockers and like save and like like he can hide in lockers and stalk through the um through the locker. So say if someone's on the gen and he knows that they on the gen, and then someone thought that he left, he could kind of hide in the locker, and then wait until someone gets on the gen and then he could stalk them and then he could hop out of locker and he has this ambush ability where he could just down them one time just easy like that and that would be cool but yeah having it in the game would be cool like just make it happen honestly now it comes down to these two these two these two these two legends now I'm I'm gonna go with Friday 13 first. Now we all know the issue with Friday 13, right? But everybody in the mama wants Friday 13 in the game. Everybody wants Friday Friday 13 in the game. But how I personally feel about it, honestly, this is probably very 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 unpopular. But it's it's mad to me. I'm, I'm gonna explain why. Only because of the fact that. Yes, everyone wants him in the game. Yes, that would be cool. I'm not going to get more. Yes, that would be cool. But the only reason why it's mad is because of the fact that we, like, I don't know. Like, me personally, like, this is something about Jason that's just, he never, he didn't really, like, he doesn't really, like, interest me like that. Like, yes, his his power would be cool and he'd be, like, he could probably, he would probably have, like, a breakable palette where he could like break pallets and stuff like faster and then go through like walls just by just going literally going through walls and then breaking them yeah like, he would be crazy in dvd i already know he will like that that whole chapter would be iconic and everybody will love it i i will love it myself too like i'll be like down to i'm down to like i said i'm down to play any chapter i think i literally created this uh, go away tier list i just did that for no reason like all, if any uh, if any of these chapters happen in DVD, I'll be grateful for it because I just love the game and I'll just play as anybody who they put in the game honestly and I would, I'll give you guys my thoughts but having Jason in the game like I said he was just kind of mad to me don't get me wrong I have nothing against Fire 13 but Jason in the game will be kind of I mean, don't get me wrong. That's, yes, I was. I of course I'll play with as him, but in DVD, like it's already he's already like hyped up. It kind of like the the juice died down. Like it's all out of juice. You know what I'm trying to say? It's no really. It's not. I feel like I could possibly. I feel like he might go a little bit more up once we figure out what's going on. But as of right now, currently, it's kind of meh because it's like what's going on. You know what I'm trying to say? It kind of died out a little bit. The juice is going for him being in the game but let's see where this lawsuit goes honestly it's getting on my nerves but yeah either way it's like having jason in the game and so it's, it's okay i mean i was like i said i'll still play as him but it's okay to me last but not least okay do i even bro do i even have to talk like y'all 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 know the game bro y'all all know the game i'm gonna pit it i'm gonna do like this Y'all all know the game when it comes to my man Springtrap. We saw the concepts. Brilliant. We 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 saw the little I don't care what y'all say. Though they gave some little hints in on the pinhead teaser. In in my in, from my from my view and the community in the Discord community I joined, they gave little subtle hints to to Financial Freeze. Do I feel like Financial Freeze is gonna be in, in is gonna join DVD eventually? Absolutely, because of the fact that it's gonna make a ton of money. These devs love money. They very, I don't want to say like that, but they're very greedy. They like money, obviously. They find the best ways to market everything, 
and I already know that Final Fantasy 3 is gonna happen. We just gotta wait. Even though Scott he said that oh there's not gonna be no licenses this year or something like that. That's I heard he's a troll. Like come on now. That's I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty. I'm 99% certain that Spring Trap will make it into the to DVD. Every um these um y'all FNAF fans. Yeah, Spring Trap fans, yeah, I need a, yeah, I need a, um, come on, bro. Yeah, like, y'all gotta, um, realize, don't give up hope. Y'all yeah, gotta realize that this, this character is one of the most, if not the most, hyped up character, unexpectedly, to, um, to possibly join, um, the roster. Because of the fact that this character has so much popularity. Spring Trap has so much popularity in DVD, it's not even funny. Like that's crazy, but I already know eventually he's he's gonna he's gonna be in DVD. I already know he is with some type of power that everyone was gonna love, which I hope everyone loves. I'm pretty sure his power. What I want his power to be. Don't get me wrong. You know the dude that I'm like I said I'm not going with names. You know the dude that created that very popular Resident Evil concept where he was actually playing as the tyrant, aka Nemesis. I mean um not Nemesis, Mr. X. That um concept. Don't get me wrong, his concept was pretty cool with Springtrap, even though I, I didn't really understand it like that. But, um, it was this one dude's, it was this other dude's concept. I, like I said, I'm not going names, but it was this other dude's concept that, um, he created where, um, Springtrap actually has the, um, he actually has the ability to, um, where it's kind of like Nemesis, where it's like zombies, but instead of the zombies, it's animatronics that actually scout certain areas for you and could like jump scare survivors and stuff. I feel like having that in DVD would be cool. Uh, if he would have that with like a cider, but we, I wouldn't want him just to have just to rely on the animatronics just to do everything for him. I feel like he should do something else by hand too, but having the animatronics help him to give off that full Final Fantasy Freddy's vibe would be cool. With the map and everything, that like that whole chapter will be iconic. But yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on everything. So yes, the most the um it is not really a it's not really a order to this. It really, I really want all these. Like I wouldn't mind none of these. Like I wouldn't mind any one of these um chapters happening in DVD honestly. With. Um, Resident Evil Part 2 being the lowest if Mr. X or even like a Resident Evil Village happens in DVD I don't even I don't even know why I, it yes it could wait but I don't know I would play it anyways if that joint was to drop like tomorrow or something like that you know what I'm trying to say but yeah that's it that's everything man I hope I didn't um I hope I wasn't too off-putting with the ones that I selected myself because I feel like it would be pretty cool just to have these type of chapters in DVD but yeah this is this is why i um think about um this this little hype license tier, um tier list that i made this is this is how i feel like the most the most um hype chapters like the hype chapters that i myself plus the community wants but me myself personally because of the tier list alien and the predator candy man slender man the Shining, Until Dawn, Cheapest Creepers, The Evil Den, It, and Spring Trap. Those are like, those need to happen, I feel. Those need to happen, bro. <laughs> like, the, like, come on. Y'all gotta agree with me, right? Like, y'all know that, y'all know those need to happen. Yeah, like, come on now. Yeah, like, come on. Stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Especially that Alien and Predator joint. I feel like that one would be really creative and cool to have two killers in one, in one um, chapter. I feel like that would be crazy and game changing at the same time because you got two licenses that people are very 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 familiar with two killers two licenses as a, as a bro that would be game changing like that would, that whole chapter will break that joint yo the devs would get so much money it's not even funny bro like they could they would get so much money from that that they could literally chill for like two years and not drop not one um dlc that chapter will get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. I already know it will. Especially, um, Final Fantasy Freddy's too. But, having Alien and Predator in one chapter would be crazy. Anyways, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. This is my 
um, hype license tier list a little, well, kind of hype a little bit, cause, cause of the ones I selected. But yeah, this is this is it. This is what I think, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I hope this video wasn't too long. I was talking a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you new, subscribe to my channel. If you miss my videos, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Love y'all. And peace.